Hello friends, welcome back in this session. So let's continue this exploring of the Docker images. Uh, here we will building the PHP server side scripting image. So some of the new concept will appear, uh, but the function of the lesson will be the show of how Docker can create a diverse kind of the image across the multiple language and the platform. So basically, I think uh, uh, having the diversification of the example here, we are taking the uh, PHP server creation and here the base equipment the figure out the how we can create the, our own custom container uh, when it comes a new language or a new framework. So here we will use the uh, uh, PHP project uh, structure to create the uh, PHP um, container image. So we will create the two files over here. So we will create the docker file here. And we will also create the index.php file. So two files we will create here and uh, we will start from the PHP file. So basically each team having its own PHP script and Docker will file the uh, that particular PHP file for the creating its Docker container. So let's start with the PHP file here. So we'll create the tag here. So HTML and we'll close here the HTML. Okay. and we will add the PHP tag here and PHP start with the question mark here and I'm adding the simple uh, print statement here so this is PHP server created container Okay, so our PHP file has been done. Let's move for the Docker file. So Docker file will take the uh, PHP image using the prom command. So prom PHP and uh, by default it's take the latest uh, tag. So we are not specifying here. Second, we will make the copy for the uh, index.php file. So the location of the current directory index.php file and we'll copy on the same location. Again, we will use the command to execute our PHP server. So we will use the PHP hyphen s to start server and the server location for the server so 0.0.0.0 .0 so here i'm giving that location and we also specifying the port number so this is a basically port for the server here okay so one more thing we going to here add that's a new thing is the expose so here we are exposing the port number here so for this particular container we are exposing the port number 80 where uh, where the host port can be anything so basically while docker run we are passing the hyphen p option this is the same where we are mapping the uh, host port with the container port so here we have exposed port 80 for our container port so this way where we are using the docker file for the creating the php index and uh, uh, the php file which we have already created so let's move to the run the our image so first we'll create the image docker build the location for the dictionary here and giving the name I'm just giving the name is image PHP so this created image uh, basically it's taken the casing you can see here 
and it doesn't download it anywhere so completely mesh you can see here so case we have already seen in our previous uh, session if you not still explore you can go through the previous session okay so now our image has been created now uh, if you want to still see the you can pass no case so this will create the full leaf press image now let's run the docker container so docker run name php server i'm just giving the new name here we are passing the port number using the hyphen p option so i'm just giving the port number so my host port i'm just giving the 3030 is my host port and container port we have exposed is the 80 so we should not change here the container port because we already exposed one port from the container side and at last we'll give the image name that's a image and php so let's run this container okay so my container has been started you can see the message development server has been started with this uh, ip and port so let's open this one so here i'm starting my server here it's a port on 3030 so you can see here uh, our server has been started and give the message this is the php server created by the container same message we have added in our, in our php uh, index uh, that file so see this is very simple where we use the uh, php uh, with the different framework it's not uh, binded with the one specific framework docker can uh, work as a flexible with the all uh, available uh, framework and the languages so here we have taken the example for the php and one more thing uh, here the new things we have added that's exposed that support number exposed from the container side 